Our team coverage of this case continues now with Nick Barris and an exclusive five alert. And Nick, what have you uncovered about this new search effort? Well, I'll tell you, Amy, the Hickman County property was owned by an individual person who has been on the police radar for years. We've been digging into that. Metro Nashville cold case homicide detectives, of course, are digging and sifting through soil, looking for evidence in the 2003 disappearance of the 13 year old Tabitha Tudors. Police have tracked hundreds of leads over the years, but what is it that led them to start digging on this property in Bon Aqua now 17 years later? People wondering. Well, I've learned they obtained a search warrant because this property was owned by a convicted felon in 2003 who has long been a person of interest in this case. He also had a place where he lived not far from Tudor's home back in Nashville in 2003. Police have always stopped just short of calling him a prime suspect, but they say his name just kept coming up in the investigation and in tips they were receiving. So the way I had it explained to me from those close to the case, Cold case detectives still have their suspicions. This guy owned a remote piece of property, and if he took Tabitha, this is where he might have hidden her body. So what are they doing today? They're digging, looking to see what they are going to find. And Amy, there are seven acres on this property. I'm told they could be there for days. Yeah, and what more do we know about this person of interest? Continue to look into this. What we know is he no longer owns that property, has under questioning denied any involvement in the Tudor's case. He also is currently in federal prison serving a long sentence for drug and gun crimes, so he has a lengthy criminal history. All right, Nick, I know you'll stay on top of that. Thank you. And if you're not familiar with the disappearance of Tabitha Tudors, head to newschannel5.com to read about the development since it happened back in 2003.